Yes. Now, I guess I could go into about how I would prefer forums and the D&D community be based off the Zelia tree and, you know, religious worship of the edition itself over the tribalism of all these little forums and their circle jerks. Um, you know, I see a lot of people playing Pathfinder. Everybody acts like Pathfinder is the fucking bee's knees. And I want you to know something about Pathfinder. Pathfinder has ripped off of at least half of what I've created. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into who I originally was on the whole Dungeons and Dragons medium, but I can tell, I'll put it this way, the entire ninja class is my doings. That class would not exist if not for me. Uh, I used to post at the Pathfinder forum a long time ago when it was first starting to come out and it just got boring for me. The layout was just poor and I didn't like it. This proves that you don't need to ban people. If people don't want to be there, they'll leave on their own accord. Proof is I haven't been there in years. Uh, you know, I would prefer that it would be an addition war and people would be treating each other like shit over the addition they played rather than over other stupid crap that they cannot help. Let me put it to you this way. You have two forums. One forum bans you because... Because why? Because you broke some arbitrary rule at some arbitrary time that some other member did way worse, but they did not get punished for it. Uh, the moderators just don't like you. Maybe just in general you're not liked by the other members, and it's a popularity fucking contest. That is no way to exist. That is no way to have to endure you are a human being, you are entitled to being treated with some sort of dignity regardless of whether or not you're charming or whether or not you speak the most eloquently or anything of that sort. You deserve some sort of rights and some sort of good treatment. And this is why I stopped using my former alias because I was ignorantly under the impression that if you were just nice to people they could be persuaded that deep down people were rational, decent human beings, but no, you have to condition people. You have to place a, a firm iron boot on their neck, but you have to know who to do it to and when. And it, it, you know, most people, you don't even have to. They will follow you to the ends of the earth because they're just loyal dogs. They just need a master. But there are some people that are wolves. They're vicious, they're conniving, and they will tear each other apart over a fucking meal. And that's what moderators are. They are vicious, god, godless wolves that just need to be shot. They are useless. Useless creatures. Fucking animals. Now, we get into the addition war forum, where... If you were to be banned, it was probably because you were not of the right edition. It's still wrong. It's very wrong. You should not be banned simply for holding a different opinion. But it is something more predictable. It is something where it is more, it is less likely you will be abused and wrongfully banned because if you know you're playing the right edition and you're going along fine with that cult, there is no reason for you to be mistreated as opposed to just this vague enormously arbitrary you know fucktard orgy of moderator worship like Zurog so that's what I'm trying to say here that's why I would prefer the addition war over just the tribalism reactionary feudal empires of what our Dungeons and Dragons forums have become today and then you wonder why Dungeons and Dragons is failing. It is because you have separated into a confederacy. You have separated into all these multitudes of either liberally accepting of additions, but you still have to worship the moderator, or you have to as ascribe to our specific edition, but still worship the moderator. Moderators, moderators, moderators. It isn't about the addition. And that is where you went wrong. Because if there was the Pathfinder Forum, the 3.5 Forum, the 4th Edition Forum, and the soon-to-become 5th Edition Forum, that would at least give people some kind of role. That would give them something to, 
join and to be a part of. They could be a part of a bigger community and they would not have to feel like they're constantly under pressure to, you know, impress other people. Because as long as you are that fourth edition or Pathfinder or 3.5 or whatever, uh, you will be accepted regardless. And that is the goal of hypernationalism, because hypernationalism is about that ideology and whatever means it takes to get there, get there. You know, like if North Korea looks out for North Korea, it isn't about, you know, being a Buddhist or a Christian in North Korea. It isn't about being uh, of a certain skin color in North Korea. It is about what is best for North Korea. So we don't have an addition war. We'd be so lucky as to have an addition war. What we have is a clusterfuck. Kind of like in the real world where everything is about business and sucking corporate dick and that's why people don't have any freedoms. We'd be so lucky as to have everybody be Mussolini and Adolf Hitler. But that is not the way the world works. So that is what you need to know about the difference between addition wars and the religious fanaticism. Ooh, there's just so much conflict versus what's actually going down and what's actually making people get treated like fuck, you know. And I see it on 4chan too, the so-called white supremacist image board. And, you know, there's plenty of white people that get banned. Probably predominantly white people that get banned because it's mostly white people that have all the time in the world to spend on the internet you know most other people of color have lives they have friends and they go out and they party and shit white people have always been known to be tyrannical dickheads so it comes as no surprise that at a white supremacist forum they're mostly banning other white people that just aren't white enough so there's your answer and I would appreciate it if you actually spoke the truth and not just gave some touchy-feely, why can't we all just get along, give peas a chance type bullshit. Because it's untrue and it just makes people even more stupid. Because that is, if you have, if you were at the Wizards of the Coast Forum at all during that period that I call Generation 1, and then the genocide of all those members was Generation 2, and Generation 3 was the fucking desert wasteland like the Dark Suns campaign, uh, you would know what went down for all this to happen, and it had nothing to do with what edition you played and how everyone is, you know, vehemently opposed to a different edition. So, that's it.